All right, I'm going to attempt to do a quality run on a Voron cube at 150%. And mainly the reason I'm doing this is I did some skew calibration today and I've got it set up pretty decent. So I'm kind of setting up a, this is going to be 500 millimeters a second commanded at 20k acceleration for everything except for bridging which I think I've got that down to 10,000 at some slower speed it may be 200 millimeters a second it might be 50 I don't I don't really remember but but anyway so uh, I'm gonna show the difference here between an object where the infill is connected and where it's not connected and uh, we'll see this print in comparison to another one uh, where I had one setting changed in the slicer and it can it can drastically affect how the outside of the model looks so um, and what's important to me is on this cube when I measure it diagonally on those flats that it uh, that it measures close to the same and that's not this is not a calibration model for me I have a different model that I use for a skew but I've already done that, and so now I'm just kind of, kind of beating on a little bit to see, you know, what it can do at what quality level, um, in case I need to run some functional stuff a little bit faster. So, um, and it's not that it's not going to be that fast. 520k is is scooting pretty good. It's it looks looks like it's scooting pretty good. It can go more, but this is enough. And I see there's some infill, and, and it's funny when you watch this and you see where there's some infill not connected, sometimes they just try to put it in a place where it can't stick to anything. Um, or you got your PA not set right for infill, and that seems to change based on the speed. So uh, when I, when I kind of crank it up higher, I've got to lower that PA for infill. Um, Anyway, so, and if you get it too high, it'll, it'll totally jack it up. Too low, jacks it up too. <laughs> Can't win. Um, so this is going to take like 15 minutes to print. And so I'll stick the camera in there. It's going to be pretty boring. You can fast forward it or whatever.
Okay, so here's a cube that I did where the infill is connected, and here's one with it out connected. Alright, let me see if I can change this a little bit. Let's see what this does. Okay. Now let's look at this one. And those lines, <laughs> if you run your infill too fast for your machine, those lines can push outwards and, and cause the wall here to look non-uniform. You see all those lines? So here, let's put two together. Let me turn the lights back on. Well, let's go to the X face. Okay, not connected, and then this one, see that? Even as you look at it from the side, those different densities inside here make it show anyway food for thought